Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica Video Knowledge Base. My name is Li Chao. In today's session, I'm going to introduce how to use a store procedure without site as a data source in Power Center Source Qualifier. Here is the agenda for today. So in order to use a result site as a data source in Power Center, we can use a dummy table as source with the number of columns and a data type matching the store procedure result site, and then add the store procedure call in the SQL query of the source qualifier. Now let's do a demo together. In this demo, I will use SQL Server Store Procedure and Tables as an example. Here we can see a mapping. The source table is from SQL Server Database and has three ports, ID with data type integer, first name with data type varchar, and last name with data type varchar. In the source qualifier, properties, SQL query, we can see a store procedure call is added here. Click OK. And then it rest to a target table. So before we run the session, let's check them from the database side. Now we are in the SQL Server Client tool. And this is the procedure called in the uh, mapping. And it has one select statement in it. So now let's execute it. This is the result set returned by this store procedure. Let's check the target table. So currently it's empty. Now let's go back to our workflow manager and run the session. So now the session is finished successfully. Let's go back to the uh, SQL Server Client tool again to check the target table. So now we can see correct values from the target table. So this is basically how to use a store procedure without site as a data source in source qualifier. Um, you can also check KB article 19611 where it uses a DB2 store procedure as an example and it gives more details about the usage. I hope this session is helpful and uh, please share your feedback with us. Thank you.